There's a moment when you say to yourself, it can't be done. At some point, everything's going to go south on you. And you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. Now, you can either accept that or you can get to work. You just begin. You do the math. You solve one problem and you solve the next one. Instead of backing down, you push yourself forward into the unknown. Do you realize that every day you thought you wasn't going to make it? Do you remember them days where you thought it was absolutely unbearable and you thought you wasn't going to endure that one? Do you know that your survival rate for every last one of them bad days is 100%? You survived all the trouble you ever been in. Your survival rate is 100%. You're going to hit a wall. Everybody hits the wall. That wall shocked some people. That wall knocked the life out of some people. That wall discouraged some people. That wall is painful. Some will choose to go back. But there's some small number who, when they hit that wall, they decide, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be over there. This person doesn't care about the pain because this person knows something. There's no being without pain. So this person comes back anyhow, again and again and again. Whatever storm you found yourself in today, don't give up. And I know it hurts. And I know you don't want to take it anymore. Your dreams look like you're seeing them from unfold. But don't give up. You have not seen the best days of your life yet. But you have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. It's your lack of patience. I think there's literally 300 million different ways to win in the U.S. There is no blueprint. There is no exact way. It only comes down to being able to factor in the 40 or 50 indexes, input points, context points around your life. And the lack of patience is what hurts so many people. If you decide in any particular area that you're concerned about to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to read one book a month in that area, in five years, you'll be among the top 5% experts in the world. As you begin to develop and expand your skills and your talents and your vision of yourself, you will always be in control of your destiny. And I'm saying to them, you can live your dream. It was hard, ladies and gentlemen. It was very difficult to pick myself up each day believing. It was very hard. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right, and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that he can clobber you to the ground, and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. You do make a difference. As weak as you are, as tired as you are, as many mistakes as you made, you do make a difference. There is something they would lose if you were not there. There was something that they would miss if you were not there. You do make a difference. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. You need to make it a habit to start every fucking day validating yourself because life is a marathon. 
And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. You got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again. And I got what it takes. This is my day and nothing out here is going to stop me. I want what all other men want. But when the opposition hits, when the challenge hits, when the pain creeps in, when the uncertainty creeps in, when the cuts, when the scars, when the bruises come, I just want it a little bit more than they want it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. It takes guts. You gotta dig down deep to cut it out. Keep on going again and again and again. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. No guts, no glory. You've got to be willing to face rejection and no again and again and again. Defeat again and again and again. Nobody is gonna care more about your dream than you. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams of a people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. Listen to me very closely. Winners win and losers lose. And there are those of you out there, you lose it and you don't deserve to lose. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate to read, to digest information. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. As you work to help other people become successful, that feeds your success. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Say this to yourself every day. It's not over until I win. It will come out of nowhere as you're working times with tears falling down your face. And you'll look back on the times and you will cherish those times. It's not over till I get through. Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Y'all can't open a day and look out. I'm gonna come back and take the hinges off. When life is beating you down and you lose your job, you lose your money, you lose your spouse, you feel like you can't do it anymore. When you feel that pain creeping in, you feel that defeat. You must remind yourself of how tough you really are. This is not the first time you've gone through pain. This is not the first time you've felt the sting of failure. You've got to remember that every time you're going through adversity, it is making you stronger. You are not being burned. You are being forged. You're being forged into a beast. But it's not going to be easy. No, it's going to try and rip you apart. It's going to break you down before you can have the opportunity to build yourself back up. You're going to feel overwhelmed and stressed out of your mind and don't know what to do next to solve the problems you're facing. But when you can put yourself in a position where you decide that you won't give yourself a way out, you won't allow the darkness to win. You won't accept failure as an outcome. One way or another, you will find a way through it. It's gonna be a dog fight. It's gonna be rough as hell. It's gonna knock you to your knees and keep beating you. But you gotta make up in your mind that it is not over until I win. I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. 
I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. The only way I lose is if I quit. To become a champion, you gotta endure immense challenges. If you can't withstand challenges, you'll never be a champion. If giving up tempts you when your legs give out, don't even begin. For me though, every rejection fuels me. Why? Because I am not a failure. I'm just one more attempt away from success. If I just keep trying and keep trying and keep trying, I will eventually win. Life can't deny you forever. Life can't keep telling you no forever. If you are relentless, at some point you will break through. I refuse to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get things together. No, that's not gonna happen. I'm getting ready to turn this whole situation around. 180 degrees. On the other side of your pain is freedom. Opportunity comes in chaos. A chance to stand up. A chance to get it right. A chance to make a U-turn. I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know that you'll be strong enough to get through it. Because every human has what it takes to persevere through whatever they're facing, if they decide to. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody, but only the strong survive. Most people keep running away from all these obstacles, and they don't realize that it is the obstacles that are going to take them to the next level. Those are the things that are going to push you to break through. So every time you feel that pain, you feel that heat, you feel that pressure, remind yourself that this is what is going to make me better. This is going to redefine me. This is going to make me into an unbreakable winner. I need you to have mental toughness. When that thing you're up against tells you to quit, I want you to look at it in the eye and say, I will break you before you break me. I will not be destroyed. I will outlast you. I'm tougher than you. I can take it. I got what it takes to win. You will not defeat me. And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop trying and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is in the middle of the struggle, in the middle of the chaos, you got to tell that thing, I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave this opportunity until I'm successful. It is not over until I win. I am not phenomenally skilled, but I am phenomenally willed. I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not quit. I'm not successful because I'm the best. I'm successful because life tried to break me and it couldn't. I outlasted all the struggles, all the hurt, all the haters, all the failures, and I kept getting back up and facing it head on without losing enthusiasm for the dream. However hard life tries to hit you, I need you to hit twice as hard back. Match whatever level of energy the enemy is putting up and destroy it. You've invested too much to quit. You've made too many sacrifices to give up. Get a reward for all the hell you've been through. I don't care what's the circumstance. I don't care what's the situation. You face the challenge, you put it on your back, and you say, Roger that. And you continue to execute on your mission, on your goal, on your plans, on your dream. When you come up against that thing, you got to be prepared to outperform that thing. And you got to make up in your mind before you get to that challenge, before you get to that cancer, before you get to that sickness, before you get to that battle, you got to be mentally ready to take on whatever life is going to hit you with. And you got to see yourself getting through this and past this. You got to know you can handle anything this world can throw at you. And you got to make up in your mind that I will not leave without getting what I want. And if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famine shall call, sickness or pain or body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you'll get it. 